This is the Bay Area's news station. Cron 4 News at 8 starts now. I, I want to be here if there's a party. A lot of people have been talking about the fact that Pride is coming up and its decision is coming down in the same week. That's going to color the whole celebrations of Pride. Now at 8 o'clock, anticipation is mounting as the clock ticks down to the U.S. Supreme Court's ruling on Proposition 8. By 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, which is now just hours away, we will know if same-sex marriage is legal or not in California. Crown Force J.R. Stone is live in San Francisco's Castro District tonight, where business owners and residents are preparing for any possible outcome. J.R. Well, they really are, Pam. The clock is ticking 11 hours until the Supreme Court response to Prop 8. Behind me here in the Castro, at Mark and Castro, you can see these barricades. These are going to be used not only for the Pride Parade this weekend, but also for some of the street closures that will take place tomorrow, as there will be a rally tomorrow night here in the Castro when it comes to this Prop 8 decision, when it comes to gay marriage. I talk with a lot of folks out here in the Castro, heated to say the least. I just wanted to get the get it out, out of the way or I'm sick of this damn crap. A lot of people have been talking about the fact that pride is coming up and its decision is coming down in the same week. So again, there's going to be a reaction to it. Yeah, we all, today we've already been getting calls for the uh, you know, bride and groom for the uh, cake toppers. We're talking about a bunch of really, really old people uh, who are... <laughs> You know, outside of marrying years to determine, you know, the fate of uh, so many others. So hopefully they decide on the right right side of history. Well, I'm going to go to uh, bed early tonight so I can see the ruling in the morning. And if it's a good thing, I might have to leave work early, come park here and join the celebration. I, I want to be here if there's a party. Oh, God. <laughs> can you that? imagine gay pride plus that? It would yeah. be wonderful. And you can see these long lines in the Castro. The LGBT uh, Film Festival going on right now. The Film Festival is going on. Pride is this weekend, and this decision comes down tomorrow on Wednesday. We're talking a lot of different big events happening in the Castro in addition to that rally that's going to be held tomorrow night. I talk with businesses, many of whom are closing early tomorrow because they expect so many people out here to be rallying in the streets. Hopeful they are hopeful in this area of a positive message for gay marriage, but they are preparing on both sides. One of the stores in town told me that she has stocked up on poster board if it is a negative decision for people who are likely be marching, in that case, making poster boards and then marching. But again, nevertheless, out here at Castro and Market, there is set to be a rally tomorrow at 6.30 in the evening, and that will be well after the decision from the Supreme Court. For now, reporting live in San Francisco, J.R. Stone, Front 4 News. Meantime, SaveCalifornia.org, a West Coast nonprofit organization which supports Proposition 8, argues that the ban against same-sex marriage should be upheld. Its supporters will be on the steps of the state capitol tomorrow in Sacramento after the Prop 8 ruling is announced. There are four options for the U.S. Supreme Court on Proposition 8. The simplest outcome is that Prop 8 is declared unconstitutional, making gay marriage legal across the nation. The second scenario... Proposition 8 is rejected on more narrow grounds, which means gay marriages are legal only in California. The third option is that Prop 8 is upheld, and it will then take a voter initiative to overturn the proposition. And the fourth and final scenario, and the one that some court watchers consider most likely, is this. The court rules that the group defending Proposition 8 had no legal standing to do so, which means the lower court's ruling stands and Prop 8 is declared unconstitutional.